Good morning, everybody. And I hope everyone had a, a good uh, night last night. We're going to talk a little bit this morning about um, a product that I'm sure a lot of you know about. And um, it is uh, one of our key outerwear uh, garments that we're selling this season. Um, my name is Nicole Williams and I am the DSA for Harry Rosen. Um, this is a product knowledge that I'm going to talk about this morning and it will be about Canada Goose. And um, this is actually in a very iconic uh, um, outerwear line that started in Canada in 1957 by uh, a group of designers who felt that there was a need to have outerwear that would um, keep you warm in the elements of up to minus 40 degrees and also keep you warm in minus 5 degrees. Uh, Canada Goose actually um, has a lot of branding and this is the familiar brand that you'll see on most of the jackets and it's usually situated on the shoulder or just right here on the on one side of the shoulder and this would be your Arctic Canada Goose line. Now what Canada, what Canada Goose has um, good qualities is we're going to talk about three areas that um, is, pertains to Canada Goose outerwear. First of all, we're going to talk about quality, we're going to talk about functionality, and we're going to talk about authenticity. So quality, Canada Goose is made up of 90% duck down and 10% uh, goose down. And usually what that means is that um, duck down, it does not have to be a very puffy jacket. It can be a jacket that looks very light. Uh, for example, this jacket here that I have in my hand, it is not an overly puffy jacket, but it's very light and it is a 90-10 ratio. Now, this jacket would be rated a 3, which is called the TEI, or the Thermal Experience Index, and usually that is placed on every jacket's um, labeling or the hang tag that's in the front of the jacket. And usually you'll see it on a hang tag like this, and it will have it just placed here from 1 to 5. So what happens with that is that you've got a 90-10 um, filling. You may also have 100% duck down filling in other jackets. And it could be the Black Label Collection um, or the Arctic Collection, which is this labeling here that I have shown you before. So the Canada Goose 90-10. The actual fur that's around the jacket here is coyote fur. And the coyote fur is... Um, so is actually one of those features that if you're out in the cold and it's snowing or it's wet rain, the actual fur will not freeze. It will stay fluffy, keep you dry, and keep the wind away. And just a little bit of information about coyote fur. Coyote fur, sometimes you've got the customers that will come in and say, listen, I want the coyote, I'd like my fur to look white, much more white. This one looks, you know, a little bit with too much brown in it. There's reasons why the fur is that color. It's not because, you know, it was a bad lot or it didn't make up right. The reason why the fur is that color is that the whiter the fur, it was a rough winter. And it's a little, this is a little bit of information that you can give your customers if you like. The whiter the fur, um, the coyote was out in the winter doing his thing and he is blending in with his landscape. So it's lots of snow, it was a rough winter, and it's white. And that's why your fur has got more white compared to some other fur that will have a little bit of brown flex in it. It was maybe not as much of a heavy winter. You've got, you know, the coyote still blending in to his surroundings, which would be your natural trees and, you know, um, the twigs and that sort of thing. So that's just a little bit of information that you can give your customer if they complain or they say, well, I would prefer this fur over that fur. All right, so that's what the first thing about quality. Functionality on a Canada Goose is that a lot of the jackets uh, come in different um, fits and you've got your longer parka styles and you've got your bomber style jackets. So if you've got a customer who prefers a bomber style jacket, with a bomber style jacket usually has ribbing on the wrist and it's got a little bit more of a um, a ribbing around the waist so it, it sits a little bit higher on the body. Um, it usually has a, a hood and it does have the fur. Most of the jackets do come with the fur that's attached to the hood. Now you've got your bomber, then you've got your parkas. Your parkas are a little bit longer. They're, um, they're going to go over the seat. Some of them will be even longer. They'll just go to the knee. So there's a different um, variations of the jackets and they're there 
to um, be functional for a lot of different areas in people's lives. And that could be uh, the guy that's working up north in the Arctic, and this is exactly what one of these jackets are for. He's up in the north, up in the Arctic, and he's drilling oil or whatever he's doing up there, or he's working on, you know, some kind of um, expedition. He's in one of the, the Canada Goose parkas. And honestly, you will even see that parka um, on a uh, on an actual movie. There's actual movies that, you know, you can see these guys wearing the Canada Goose jackets or parkas. So they basically go from a one to a five, and that's the TEI, the Thermal Experience Index, and that's usually placed on the labeling of the jacket, and it explains up to minus five, up to minus 25. So this is a good selling feature. You can show your customers that this is, you know, jackets rated a number two, and they'll say, okay, well, is it gonna keep me warm? Well, here it is, this is the rating for this jacket. The other one is maybe rated a four, and the highest it will go is a five, and a five is obviously up to about minus 35. So this is a good feature that you can talk to your customers about when you're looking at the jackets, explaining to, uh, to the customer what it's all about, showing them the details that the hood is removable, that the fur can also come off on some of the um, different models. Also, you're showing them the pockets, you're showing them the zipper details, you're showing them the drawstring toggle on the inside of the jackets, and um, you're also just, you know, giving them some information in regards to how to take care of their Canada Goose. Um, the next um, area that I'm going to touch on is the authenticity of the Canada Goose. Uh, Canada Goose um, usually does have a, well, it, not usually, it does have an authentic authenticity uh, label attached on the inside of the jacket and it's usually right in through the lining uh, right right in the inside of the jacket and it would be sitting right here this would be their authenticity label the authenticity label should never be removed if it's removed then what will happen is that you will not have a warranty on your Canada Goose. So you must tell your customers that they cannot remove the Canada Goose warrant, uh, authenticity tag off of their jackets. Otherwise, it will not be warranted. Um, it does have a lifetime warranty. That's something that they need to know, but they cannot remove the actual warranty, um, the, the Canada Goose authenticity tag. Now, with Canada Goose, the other thing is that um, they also do say that dry cleaning is not something that they recommend all the time. You should make sure that you just, if you have something that just drops on your jacket, you just clean it off and off you go and you can get them dry clean maybe every uh, two seasons. It's not something that's necessary. Um, now the other thing is too is that there's a lot of other uh, pieces that come with Canada Goose. You've got hats, you've got gloves, you've got scarves and there's always a great add-on to your sale. When you're selling a jacket, you know, add the little scarf or the neck warmer here that we've got. This, you can show them that it actually works really well just around the neck and you can even just pop this on your head too. Pulls into a nice hat. So you've got like a two-in-one detail with this particular accessory. But it's just nice to show your hats, your gloves, your scarves with a Canada Goose. Now, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to come and see me later on and I will for sure help you go through any of your questions that you have regarding the product. Um, we can have try-on sessions if you like, uh, make sure that your customers get into the product and just make sure that they understand that, you know what, this is, this, this is the winter for it. We've got a lot of cold weather here right now. This is the coat that they should have. Thanks a lot, everybody, for coming in and, and seeing me uh, this morning. And um, I actually have a little extra something for everybody that showed up to the meeting. Um, I've got a, a, a little gifts here for you and um, also some booklets on just, you know, a little bit of product knowledge about, about the Canada Goose uh, collection. Thanks very much.